Yo, what's up? Real Homies Wanna Know is back at it. And today, we are bringing all the mamas out. So stay tuned. Real Homies Wanna Know. Real Homies Wanna Know. Real Homies Wanna Know. Our homies want to know. Y'all, today, I thought what better way to celebrate Mother's Day than to bring my mama on here. Hello. <laughs> Y'all, she does not talk like that. <laughs> Do not let her fool you, but we're we going to go on with that. So, I brought my mom on here, and we'll also have some other moms that'll be featured. And we're going to be talking about motherhood and aging. So, it'll just give us another angle at the aging experience on a mother-child level. Well, I enjoy having those kinds of adult conversations that we couldn't have <laughs> as a child. <laughs> um... I enjoy being able to do adult activities with her <laughs> that I could do when she was a child. And um, we just have more adult themed conversations now. I mean, we always talked a lot when she was younger and growing up, but um, it's a different kind of conversation now. And I enjoy that more because I think she can relate to a lot of the things better now that she's you know, in her 20s as opposed to when she was you know seven or eight seeing them grow i enjoy seeing them grow up to be decent adults that's what i enjoy most there's a different level of uh, uh trust changes into a a different uh type of trust to where um where you have to trust in what you have already taught your children uh as they become adults and they rely on you more for uh, counsel rather than the, the type of protection that you give a young child. The relief of seeing that I did a good job trumps everything else. Because over and over, I, you do things and you say things that make me realize, whew, you really did a good job. Well, the first thing is, that you don't live here anymore. And the other thing is, I don't have that financial responsibility for oh. you anymore. So that's like a weight lifted. The burden is gone. Mm, burden, okay, okay. But other than that, you know, it's all good. Okay, okay. What I enjoy most is Seeing you all really get into your own passions and follow your own paths and just being supportive in those areas. It's been pretty interesting seeing you tap into your creative side. It's easier to communicate um, the older I think we both get. I feel like I was always really comfortable asking you questions. Like I always just like a text you. I think that's just because I don't really like to lie. <laughs> that's always something my friends hate that, but mm -hmm. I just can't do it. Mm -hmm. um, oh, don't don't think that there weren't some times. <laughs> <that you> did. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah, I think it's like fun to like um, talk about more adult things. Man, I mean, it blossomed. It turned into something phenomenal that I would never imagine just in hindsight. Middle school and ele uh, middle school, it was kind of shaky. A lot of transition and partly me, you know, <laughs> it was partly me. It was mostly me. It was me. <laughs> I was something else. I don't know how you dealt with me, <laughs> but you did. Um, but no, it, it's turned into something beautiful you're like um one of my best friends i could talk to you about anything and so um i can ask you anything any random thing <laughs> any crazy yes thing. lots of random questions lots of random questions without hesitation um any concerns and i feel like you can ask me the same mm -hmm. and that makes me like extremely happy i like to bug her and um 
FaceTime her and stuff. Um, and I just, yeah, I think it's just gotten deeper as far as like how we communicate with one another, um, the support, the encouragement. That's all just been consistent and it's just gotten deeper as I've gotten older. At first, I must say, when I was small, I was really, really afraid of my mother. She was crazy. But <laughs> even when I got pregnant, she was totally angry. And then when I made my son, she was like, oh my God, my grandson. And I'm like, huh? But in looking back, I understand situations bring different opinions. opinions i think our relationship is um very good right now because i feel like both of us can come to each other no matter what and talk about what's going on um in your life and like not just me coming to you but you also feel comfortable talking to me about your problems it's a bible verse and it's I'm the head, not the tail. I think that'll stick with me because it will just teach me and remind me to be a leader no matter what. Everybody that smiles in your face ain't your friends. So that's one that still remains true in my head. I still hear that I can't be fooled by people who seem nice. They may have other motives for why they are uh, trying to be in my life. So it's just kind of like, Keep your guard up. It's faith in trusting God and the importance of a relationship with God. Putting that first before everything else. Resilience. I see you down for a second, if it's even that. And then you're like, okay, what are we going to do next? And you move swiftly and gracefully. And you don't think it's an attack against you because it didn't work out the way that you wanted it to. Right? It's kind of like... Things happen. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Right. Next. Yeah. I remember in terms of academics, when I got Always my first D. Yes, look at her face while I say it. Always believe in academics. She always believed in academics. Education, important. And I brought home my first D and she said, D is for dance. Don't you dare bring back a D. And I didn't. <laughs> I used to hate it when you would be like, oh, Naomi, like, you can have some of my stuff. And I'd be like, no, like, it's yours. And you'd be like, take it. I'd be like, no. And it'd just go back and forth. And then one time you were just like, if someone offers you something, like, you just need to say, okay, and take it. And so I always think of that now when people offer me stuff. <laughs> like, I'm just like, like, I literally hear you in my head, like, just say, okay. And I'll be like, okay. <laughs> Who don't, who yeah. don't care, does, does feel. feel. Oh my God. <laughs> like, listen, I told you once, the next time I'm not going to be telling you, you are about to feel it, honey. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a phrase. It hurts. <laughs> and my mama got, it's like 10 meanings behind a mm, so it could be like a mm. Mm, like whatever or mm, it just has several meanings you you kind of know like what she's saying by like how she's how she's mm, you know what you could do now do it now don't wait for tomorrow right because you don't know what tomorrow may bring you know and that was one of the um things that we even learned even a year ago, even when we lost, when I lost my son and she lost her brother, that today, today is important. He left one day, the morning and died the afternoon. You know, and that's one thing we say, what you need to do today, do it now. Show love now. Don't wait until tomorrow, but do everything that you need to do now because you don't know if there is a tomorrow. Remembering I'm still a child uh, and I'm still in your house. Mm -hmm. That's honestly a lot of them, what they all center around. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> so you're not quite that full adult. You're not that fully independent adult yet. <laughs> In my head, I am. Uh huh. But then you all are very quick to remind me. In your head, I'm not. Uh -huh. You gotta trust God and believe in his word and his word is true. Um, we had a, a fairly rocky uh, home life, difficulty in, 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 in the marriage. And so being a child growing up, when your parents are not functioning in the love of God the way they should toward each other uh, and then there's separation and all those things that come along you it's it's really not conceivable that your child will understand but you have to hope that as they get older and life begins to happen to them that they will begin to see some of the decisions that were made and some of the things that happened in light of life itself and in light of how difficult it is to make decisions and in light of the fact that there's always going to be pros and cons. I tell you all the time, like, we love you, but God loves you more. And that sounds so cliche, but I really hope that as you grow up that you realize what I mean by his unwavering love for you. It can't even match our love. And I know you know that we love you, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so I just hope that you one day like, wow, this is what she means because no matter what you do, you know, he got your back, he loves you, he loves you. He's your number one um, fan. The manner in which I had to maneuver my second marriage, and I use the word maneuver because when a step parent is involved, uh, the glue that holds it together, the wife and the mother has to walk a thin line and has to constantly maneuver, especially when there are opposing preferences and opposing opinions. And, um, and sometimes the two parties, it's difficult to please both parties. And as you maneuver that, I kept thinking, I hope she understands why I'm doing what I'm doing, even though she may not be pleased with the decision I had to make. The way I used to buy your snacks, and Christina was the one that would say, my mama doesn't give us real snacks, it's fake food. Mm -hmm. And I always tried to look out for your health so that when you got older, you would eat right. Yeah, we had to always drink water. Yeah, that was um, very important. I never knew what oodles and noodles were until I got to college. <laughs> my resilience, absolutely my resilience, my zest for life, mm -hmm. and my Jesus complex meaning my mother always had to tell me you cannot save the world you're always trying to save someone or something um and i see that in you a lot you like to run <laughs> <laughs> she likes to cook when she will when she will get in the kitchen um is getting her in the kitchen smile she definitely has those davis jeans with a smile with a <laughs> um Persistency. Um, I I noticed that if you decide you want to do something, you are tenacious about it. You're gonna hold fast to trying to work it until you get to your goal. You care about how you dress and look. You you want to be you want to have financial security so you're always trying to um, have a little budget so you know you don't have to eat pork and beans all the time <laughs> none <laughs> even though we work together live together we i we don't seem to have the same characteristics okay 
we both love children. I think that you're very loyal. I'm a very loyal person, and I see it in the way you interact with your family and with um, your teammates. I think you're very magnetic, and you're very true to people that you love. Seeing my son grow up, I'm really looking forward to and see what he becomes because the values have been instilled from my grandmother down to my mother and then down to me and I'm trying to put those same values into him. So I really would like to see what will he become taking those values up. Basically, I look forward to doing new things. I look forward to living and, and continuing to have the, the, um, the presence of mind and strength in the body. Um, the resources, the people resources, the financial resources, um, the ability through God to do things, to be a contributor to society. I don't really believe in retirement. I think retirement from a job is okay as long as you don't retire from life. Um, I really look forward to the adventures that I'm going to have and now especially with the friends that I've made in college, like looking at the way that we're going to grow over the next few years and really looking at my career trajectory and some of the things I have envisioned for myself, um, getting a business degree and hopefully a master's degree at some point. Just like things that I'm really excited for to, to reach my dreams as far as And all the little things that come along, like a family and things like that. New experiences. Society has placed these limitations on us because of our age. That um, has a lot of my peers certainly expecting that as we get older, our experiences are limited, boring. And I know I have dispelled that myth and I look forward to the next adventure. I also am looking forward to grandkids because I've already carved out a portion of my um, time and space for grandkids, but it, it won't change the fact that every day is an adventure and I look forward to what every day has to bring. It's continuing to learn about myself and um, work on getting better with my patience my relationship with God, eventually I'll get married and have kids. But at the top of the list is just watching myself continue to grow and become like this strong woman that just knows like, I got the juice. <laughs> I look forward to retirement. When I say retirement, not just retirement from a job, retirement from housework, from Oh, everything that's going on vacation. Vacation. Um, I haven't gotten here yet, but I hope that I begin to look forward to a day when I wake up. I kind of check on you and your brother, but my day is evolved around, you know, what I want to do and, um, and only what I want to do for the day. <laughs> Aging is a beautiful yeah. thing, so I look forward to traveling more. I look forward to learning more. Uh, I look forward to interactions with you, kids. I mean, I look forward to everything. Aging is beautiful. It's just like more life. So I look forward to more life. Uh, just having a, a happy existence, being closer to God. Having an empty nest. <laughs> 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 being able to watch my children grow into uh, independent adults and have their own homes and build their own lives and families and hopefully eventually grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> These are just some questions I thought were cool to ask each other, but it's just a good way of seeing that motherhood has an impact on how we grow up. So the lessons that our moms or people who play a role of a mother in our lives. Those lessons that they teach us um, when we're young, 
whether they taught us to, to us on purpose or it was just things we learned by watching them, they all shape who we end up becoming as we continue to age. And I'm just grateful that God gave me my mom. <laughs> She's my homie, you know, we, we hang, we talk, we encourage each other on those days when we don't feel like working out. And I know when I had disappointments or anything like that, like I can go to you and you'll help me. So thank you, mother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got anything you want to talk about? Mm -hmm. Y'all, I promise. <laughs> what you see here today, <laughs> This is not how she acts on camera. <laughs> Yo, we, we low key kind of act a lie, like, but she's really being like. <laughs> That's all I have. Um, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. And thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. And, um. Bye bye. <laughs> I had to tell them to be blessed first. And oh, then we oh. say bye. In the meantime, in between time. Be blessed. What she said. Bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs> I said a Mother's Day prayer for you to thank the Lord above for blessing me with the, the lifetime of your tender-hearted love. I thanked God for the caring you've shown me through the years, for the closeness we've enjoyed in time of laughter and of tears. And so, I thank you from, from the, the heart, heart for all you've done for me. And I bless the Lord for giving me the best mother. The best mother. Best mother. The best, best mother. mother. Best mother. There could be. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Happy Mother's Day Mom.